my biggest hope, uh, you know, that we have learned, and I think we've been we've been shaken. There's a cycle right now, uh, almost a karmatic, you know, um, sh you know, shape that says, wake up, everyone, uh, go and do something good, uh, be a force for good, uh, do something different, not for yourself. Individualism is is dead. We need to have now collectivism. Everyone need to work together. And I think for me, that's my hope. My hope that people will uh, wake up. They will wake up and, and do something different that they they used to do. Uh, and if, if that happens, then I think we're gonna have a you know a wonderful and terrific decade where more young girls, more young boys uh, who are needing our help right now, and women uh, and men also. We learn from this and then and, and make a difference. We need this right now in our society. We need to change uh, the way we've been living before the pandemic because we can. The next decade will be will be wonderful for the a young girl who's now 11 years old, who's going to be 21 in 2030. She'll be able to join the global workforce. She'll be able to know how to code. And our mission at I Am The Code is absolutely to follow that young girl, to give her all the skills she needs now, uh, make sure she got the infrastructure she needs, the connectivity she needs. Uh, and she got partners, businesses uh, like VMware, who have, uh, you know, the, the, the most amazing and exciting software in the world. Uh, and and, and I, I just want a young girl to feel, when I'm 19, uh, it doesn't matter who I am, I can apply uh, to work for, you know, to work at VMware or to work any, you know, anywhere else I want to work to. I will not be discriminated because of my color. I'm not going to be discriminated because of my culture or of my, you know, of, of my religion, of, 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 of who I am. I'll be accepted. I'll be in a room with different people, uh, coding, you know, looking into AI and, and looking into solutions that will accelerate humanity. So It's not the power of diversity, but it's the power of inclusion and humanity and kindness where we can feel comfortable in allowing people who are different from us, who are louder than us, or who have a different opinion from us, just to allow them to sit in the room and let them express themselves. And that, for me, is more powerful than diversity. Take this opportunity to uh, you know, reskill yourself. Uh, look into what exactly do you want to do for the next 10 years. We have so much content, you know, so many uh, amazing people across the world who are sharing their vision, their skills across the world. Uh, try to be mentored by somebody who have been there.